So in this video let's take a look at the real devils and the real demons that are corrupting our minds. Right? Yesterday we went to the movies, uh, we also could have gone to the Texas rally, but uh, that didn't end very well, so I was happy I was at the cinema. Um, and we went to the movie, the new movie, The Exorcist, right? So here's a spoiler alert, if you don't want to know the complicated plot of this movie, right? Then um, you shouldn't watch this, but I'm gonna talk about this movie, break it down, and then I'm gonna tell you the things that should really concern us. Many Christians would say, don't go to these movies, there are demons in those movies and they will come through the screen to you, right? So let's talk about the actual demons and in what kind of TV or movies the real demons will come and enter into your mind. So this movie is about an African-American couple. He's a photographer and she is pregnant around eight or nine months. And a photographer wants to go somewhere where he can make beautiful pictures. So what better place is there to go with your pregnant wife to take pictures? Well, of course, the answer is easy. You go to Haiti, because Haiti is such a beautiful, safe environment for your pregnant woman. So they are enjoying their time in Haiti. He's making beautiful pictures and she is just walking the streets nine months pregnant. Um, just looking around, having fun. So in this time where we are so progressive, the devil also wants to show you that he's not a bigot and a racist. So this time he's gonna possess a black girl. So this Christian couple spends the time on Haiti till the moment that the pregnant wife is invited by a voodoo witch so the witch can put a blessing on the baby. While for a Christian woman it makes total sense to go in to receive this blessing. So after the voodoo witch put a blessing on the baby, there is an earthquake and the woman dies. But the baby survives, so the husband takes the baby and goes back to America. So the child grows up in America together with her father, who is still a photographer, but now he's a bit bored with this whole job because he has to take pictures of annoying white families all day long. Meanwhile, her daughter who grew up and is in high school, became best friends with a white girl. But don't worry, it's the white girl that dies in the end, while the black girl survives, so don't worry, right? So for no apparent reason, the two friends walk into the woods and are lost for days. But praise God, after three days, both girls are found and brought back home. But for no clear reason, now they are both demon. Possessed. So for no clear reason the voodoo witch from Haiti knows about this and goes to America and she wants to help out because her blessing on a child was so wonderful the first time. But now we need a Catholic priest to do the exorcism but as we know from history this was never really a good idea so now they're gonna join forces. Now we have a voodoo witch, we have a Baptist pastor and a Roman Catholic priest combining forces to combat evil. So the Roman Catholic priest was a bit reluctant at first because come on, a voodoo priest really? But he decides to enter the battle anyway, even though it will cost him his life. So the devil doesn't care about crucifixes, he doesn't care about Bible verses, he doesn't care about Roman Catholic priests or Baptist priests. But now this time, it seems that evil is really being beaten because of a voodoo witch who drew a circle on the floor, right, during the exorcism. And in the end, right, we know where the true power lays, right? So the Roman Catholic priest dies. There's a woman, she's stabbed in the eyes with a crucifix and a white girl dies while her parents never even went near Haiti. But it is the black man who took his pregnant wife to Haiti, right? went to a voodoo priest who in the end will survive. End of this wonderful and great story. 
So where do you believe people can actually be possessed by some spiritual demons in a certain degree or you don't believe it at all? Let's take a look at the real battle of the mind and what kinds of show and TV and movie is actually enter your, entering your mind which makes you anti-truth, anti-Christ, anti-God, an adversary to God, right? Opposing God, right? Because that's what Satan actually means. Satan just means to oppose, to be an adversary, right? Even Peter was at one time called get behind me opposition Satan, right? Jesus was not calling Peter a demon, right? A spiritual being. He was opposing uh, Peter because Peter was opposing the will of God because Jesus had to die according to prophecy. And Peter said, no, Jesus, flee, get away from here. And that's why he said, get behind me, Satan, because he was opposing the will of God. And even God himself can be Satan unto, unto Israel because Israel was disobedient and God became an opposition against his people, right? As a correction, right? Because he chastens those he loves. But the real demons coming out of your TV screen is the news, it's the propaganda movies, it's the propaganda history channels. All these things, they corrupt your mind and take you away from the truth. The moment you turn on the TV, it's all nothing but propaganda. It's all antichrist. Even in the churches, all these false gospels, universal gospel, humanism, equality that is corrupting the set apart holy people of God. So if you really want to be afraid, if you really want to be scared, look at what we have done to our society right we have now millions and millions of people coming in who are in opposition to you and your god and this is the real satan god bless